You know, we all know kids are in trouble. Teenagers, students, young people. But not a lot of us know what we can do about it. Sometimes you think, well, they're hurting, I just don't know any. Well, listen, they're real. And we're face to face with them every weekend as I travel every weekend to acquire the fire conferences. I want you to hear and see for yourself young people that were broken, who were dramatically affected by God and acquired the fire. Watch this. I was adopted at the age of four. And so it was really hard for me. I didn't really know my parents at the time and still don't actually know them at all. And then a few nights ago, I found out that my real father molested me when I was like two. Along with the whole dad situation, I also went through hard times when I started smoking and I started cutting myself really bad. And that was a couple days before Fire the Fire. Last night was pretty cool. They were talking about how um, like stuff in your life can like bring you down and build you up and stuff like that. Like everything about forgiveness and having the power to forgive the ones that hurt you the most is like, it really opened me up because I never thought that I would be able to look at him again and forgive him for like everything that has happened. And then I finally like, stood up and was able to raise my hands and pray to God and be like, I'm going to be able to forgive him and look him in the face and tell him that. I mean, what he did was wrong, but I forgive you and I still love you for everything. This year, in 2013, at Fire the Fire was like, it opened me up a lot. It made me feel like God actually cares about me and he's here for me when nobody else is. And even if nobody's going to listen to me, he will. You know, we see all kinds of fundraisers all around us for all kinds of causes. But it seems like the biggest bleeding need is screaming out all around us. Teenagers that are broken. We don't know what to do. We never have much opportunity. What can we do about this? But can I tell you, even as you look at this crowd of young people right here that have just come forward at Acquire the Fire, just look at them. It costs us about $6 a week to get them in the building. Would you help us? It's as though you are bringing them and sitting them down right in front of the throne of Christ. He's saying, here, introducing them, giving them a place where their heart can be softened and the layers like an onion of their heart can be peeled back, the calluses be peeled back, and they can sense God for the first time. Thank you for running with me.